Lawmakers grilled Secretary of State David Whitley at a confirmation hearing today. They'll decide whether to confirm Governor Greg Abbott's former advisor to the position the governor appointed him to at the end of the year. KXAN's Wes Rappaport has the latest from the Capitol. I'm committed to ensuring high transparency. Texas Secretary of State David Whitley did not admit mistakes in sending out a list of suspected non-citizen voters, but said there's room for improvement. I will readily level with you that we can always improve the process, but the data is what the data is, and we were confident that that was the the best data that we could get from DPS. County election officials from across the state say some of the flagged names sent their way turned out to be naturalized citizens. Democratic lawmakers hit Whitley hardest. How do you define voter suppression? I've heard the term no, no, voter how, suppression how used. Do, how do you define it? I think it's irrelevant how I, didn't answer. I would define I, 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 it. No, you're the Secretary of State, sir. And it's relevant to me if I'm going to vote for your confirmation. They also questioned the timeline of events, referring the list of names to the Attorney General's Office for Prosecution before local officials could match them to voter rolls. That matching, Whitley says, is happening now. My goal was to ensure that folks that could actually do something with it had this data in their hands. Republicans came to Whitley's defense. You have had nothing to do with what took place in the past. If there are any improvements to be made, either in the process in the Secretary of State's office or in communication with the counties or DPS and their data processes, then I am absolutely 100% committed to making that happen. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The committee did not vote on Whitley's confirmation uh, nomination today. Wes was told that the chair is expected to call for a vote next week. If his appointment passes through the committee, Whitley needs two-thirds of the Senate for confirmation. And back to that list of non-citizen voters. The original list released by the Secretary of State questioned the status of almost 100,000 voters statewide, but those numbers dropped once individual counties started to review the data. The state's first list showed Travis County had more than 4,500 registered voters suspected of being non-citizens. County officials found that more than 1,600 of those people were mistakenly put on the list. And that number could grow as county officials look at the remaining names. The biggest change came in Harris County, Houston. Their original lists had almost 30,000 names. A review found more than 60% of those people were citizens and were eligible to vote.